Hello everyone, this is Odin Pyre at ServeUO.com and I'm going to be showing you how to use uh, screenshots to uh, create new art, repair art, and import art from other games for use in Ultima Online. It's a very powerful tool um, if you have the right one. Uh, what I've done in game is I've uh, placed a floor tile, which I, you can use any tile, floor tile set hue one and I built this little image here it's a dye tub a gesture hat a white pearl and a black pearl and it creates the illusion of this little guy in a t-shirt with one eye and a little hot tub like a jacuzzi <laughs> called a monster in a tub so and I'm taking a screenshot uh, captured with my paint shop tool you can use other screenshot shot utilities you just have to make sure that they don't create blurry um, screenshots you'd want it to be true and good resolution so what I've done created him on this black background to make him easy to extract uh, this principle is used in movies for I use green screen technology and blue screen and basically I'm just using black because it hides the texture of the floor tile okay. but yeah it's basically the same principle of so I've cropped him down and then to use it in Ultima I need a canvas to align him with and basically it's just a floor tile any floor tile which this is a custom one, which uh, I select the four corners and invert, and then I paint it a solid color, which I want it to be highly visible. And you check, make sure your all floor tiles are this size, 44 by 44. And they have two pixels on each corner. So I select it, inverted it, painted it, and I'll copy it. And I've created a new canvas here. And I just went File New and made sure it was 44 width. The height can be, uh, I don't know the actual max, but it's irrelevant. You can crop it. So I'll come to the bottom of the canvas, the very bottom, and then I'll paste my image at the very bottom, making sure that two pixels are on the bottom and two pixels are on each side. And then I'll select the background and you can paint that any color you like. And I'd have my canvas. So once you have your canvas, you can create a new layer and come to your image that you're wanting to import. Select the background, invert, copy paste and align him on my canvas. Uh, for this image he's going to be centered on the tile. Um, but if you wanted this to appear, if say it was a shield, you could have it floating on the wall over here, over here, like, like it was a boar's head or something, mounted trophy. You can have stuff already elevated by simply raising it on the canvas. Or I can have him against the wall here, or over here against the other wall. But for this image, it's going to be centered, which most images are. And now I'm going to select the background and paint it true black, zero zero zero, or true white, two five two five five two five five, like so. I prefer black these registered transparent and down here this is no man's land um, 
it, 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 it's always either black or white. And this is where the adjacent tiles in the game are drawn. So they overlap. So this would anything you put below here will never show up. It'll be covered or underneath the ground. So now that I have him aligned, I can crop from the top down, making sure I go all the way to the bottom, all the way to the sides, and then you can bring the top to the top of your image. And he's ready to go. So I could import him into my art mule and he would be working and set the tile data and that would be completely new art and I wouldn't have to if I wanted people to to have this as an item I wouldn't have to build it you know piece by piece it's it's all one thing now you can do this with uh, with walls like say you stack little pieces a certain way to create a certain formation and you find yourself decorating with it and doing that over and over, you can just create that into an image to do that over and over. So that's one one method of using this. Another method is for repairs. So I've inserted some art into uh, Yo Fiddler to realize that it was uh, at first glance it appeared okay, but upon closer inspection, it had holes in it. So what I can do is use the double click on the image and use the, the preview a screen to see the damage. Which I really wish these thumbnail previews had hot pink. Uh, if you compile your own UO Fiddler core, if anybody knows how to do that or could do that, that would be a godsend. But... but, but you can also use, uh, like, say, hot pink carpet in the game. Place the item in game. Take a screenshot, and it'll make these holes appear pink. Which I really wish the thumbnail preview was pink. But I'm going to crop it down to where the the background is gone. Then I'm going to select a color from the original image. You could do this like select the nearest color from here and then paint select from here then paint this is one method I use for repairing the other method is going in game using the carpet after, it's a good practice after you insert your art into your mule to check it um, you can do it with this method because uh, a lot of the times you, st I wear glasses and I don't always wear them so a lot of the times it appears it's okay but you get it in a game you realize all oh, that thing's got holes in it, in it which drives me nuts I really should wear my glasses but one pixels uh, hard for just about anybody to see but if you were a perfectionist like me and you want without flaw, uh, you can repair them like this, and then basically you could just select the image by itself. So you select the background, copied it, and then and then you would paste this over the original, uh, perfectly aligning it. and then save it and you'd have a repaired image. That's the repair method. The final method is importing art, which uh, there's tons of isometric games out there. Uh, a problem you have with isometric games is they're not always the same isometrics. There's aspect ratios, which uh, most ga games nowadays are 1-2 aspect ratio, uh, like, like this, or Minecraft, is like one two or one three if you're looking at a an item by itself not in the 3d world but uh, 
But say, you know, you find some art, like, you know, wow, this roof would be really amazing to use in Ultima Online. So basically you could just use a screen capture of it. Or you could actually go into the game itself and play the game and capture it. And then extract it. And then, of course, you have to do all the doctoring, which, you know, if you zoom in, this would require a lot of work. But you can see the outline. You could use your selection tools, like whatever those may be. I like Line Tool. It's a really great tool if you have one. Uh, I usually do. It's painstaking sometimes to get art that you want. But I do stuff like this. If you have straight lines, you can uh, just paint a straight line. But that's another method that you could import games, images from other games. Uh, sometimes it will require a lot of work and uh, uh, aspect ratio, which real quickly I'll give you a tip on aspect ratio that some, a friend taught me. Um, like say this were, this is one one aspect. One two is something like like this sort of and what you do is you just divide the width by half and it takes one pick away from every other row which turns it into one one aspect ratio but the problem you have with converting isometric ratios is just the height um, you can't have both. Uh, another method is, it's really hard, hard to visualize this, but is to take slices like this and paste them into an isomet a 1-1 one, one isometric version, manually fixing the aspect ratio like that. But you'd have to do slice after slice. I've done that with images that I really, really wanted. Uh, but it's painstaking. You've really got to want something to do it that way. But there's three methods you can use for screen capture. Uh, you just, like I said, you just want to make sure that the tool itself uh, doesn't create blurry screen captures and that's it i hope this helps you create new art for ultima online and enjoy